Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special episode of Food, Fitness, and Fun with Dre and JD. Yeah! Look at this. We're both in front of a brick wall. What does it mean? No one knows. No. It's weird. Nobody knows. It's weird. It happened. And now we're here. So we about to get it popping on this special edition of Food, Fitness, and Fun. That's right. Before we begin, I have a little segment rec recipe that I want to give to you all. You guys, we spend a lot of time, Jay and I, um, sharing recipes with one another, right. things that we feel are nutritious, yep. things that I feel are calorie, low calorie, but... Um, High in fiber and, and, and nutritional. Right. And so today, this cast is brought to you by my dish that I call my Tex Mex tequila salmon salad. What is that? It's some tequila salmon. I throw a little bit of Tex Mex stuff in there, chop it up, lots of greens, some spinach, green leafy dark vegetables. It's probably about 300 calories or less and um, it's about two servings or 170 grams of salad super duper filling Jay had a version of that today where I took out the salmon for him and just did a trio of different beans so give it to sort of like meat consistency filled us up we probably had that what three hours ago three hours ago I'm not hungry me either. You know, so it's it's one of these meals that you can get a, um, filled up, but it's not a lot of calories. It's not going to harm, bring you down. So right now, both of us are on a caloric deficit as far as today. We had a great workout. Yep. We're probably going to put some um, little excerpts, little videos of portions of our workout. Word. And um, yeah, we're just going to get it popping. So we're going to... Um, well, how are we going to do this? Like, maybe have, like, the recipe in the description or yeah, something so, like that? Yeah, you'll see it on the screen. You'll have the salad up and the recipe up. And that's what we're having. This is a new segment sponsored by. Yeah. So, so today's segment was sponsored by Dre's. What are we calling it? Tex-Mex Tequila Salmon Salad. Look at it. Doesn't it look delicious? With the multiple trio bean remix. Yeah, alternative if, you, if you're not into eating shmanimals. I like eating animal protein because I'm a horrible person, Jay. Sorry. I skipped that stuff. But <laughs> I have other crap, so Sorry, I guys. can't judge. But that's the way it is. All right, with that being said, Check that out. The recipe will be either down below. We'll have it available. And uh, yeah, with that being said, let's get into this. If you're listening, you can head over to our YouTube channel Ooh. and see the full recipe because you won't be able to hear it. Sorry. The importance of water. Jay, you wanna, you wanna take it? All right, listen. And then I'll take it. A lot of people are not hydrated enough. Right. Often, we think that we're drinking water because you drink it when you're thirsty. But mm. often what happens is by the time you think you're thirsty, you're really heading towards dehydrated. Yes. The body is a lot of water. 70%, 80%, whatever the number is. About 70. It's a lot of water in the body. Yeah. And the reason you need water is to keep things flowing properly, smoothly. And when you don't drink enough water, this causes issues. Now, one of the things that happens when you don't have enough water is your body will tell you, I'm hungry. But you're not really hungry. You mm -hmm. know why? Because you're thirsty. Right. Now, that might sound weird, like I'm talking in riddles, but I'm not. Here's what happens. You're thirsty, but you ignore your thirst. You say, ah, eh, I'll get it later instead of doing that. <laughs> And what happens is your brain says, you keep ignoring me. Right. Why do you keep ignoring me? And then you Why? say, 
I'll give you food. And then you feel guilty about it because you weren't really hungry. Right. You were just thirsty. Right. Now, that being said, a lot of people come off with, yo, drink a gallon a day, kid. You got to drink a gallon. You see people in the gym, they walk around with these big ass gallons and they, you know, all these huge tubs, water bottles. You got to drink a gallon. Not necessarily. What you have to do or what you should do is drink water every so often. Right. Might be a gallon, might be less than a gallon. But as your day goes on, even as you see as I do throughout the podcast, I drink water. So you should be just sipping on some water throughout the day. Right. So that you're completely hydrated. You never want to get into a state of dehydration. Because as Jay is saying, once you get into that state of dehydration, then you start thinking it's hunger or whatever. But if you stay hydrated, then when you do really truly get hungry, then you realize, okay, yeah, it's probably been a few hours, three hours, whatever, four, right. and then it's time to eat, rather than confusing dehydration with hunger. Right. And the other thing is, water is part of what gives our body oxygen. No doubt. You want to have that oxygen. You want things to be able to flow and go where they got to go. That largely depends on H2O. Yeah. In fact, every chemical reaction that's happening in your body in terms of metabolizing food, energy so you can do things, go beyond your day, is incredibly water dependent. So when you don't have water, you'll start to feel sluggish, when you get dehydrated, your body isn't metabolizing foods as quickly as you might want it to. You know, a lot of times people are saying, yo, I want to get my metabolism, yo, man. Always. My, my metabolism, my metabolism. Always. And it's like, all right, well, if you're not drinking enough water, how does your body have all the ingredients it needs to have, the me to have that metabolism process going? So you have to, like, drink enough water so your body has all the ingredients it needs to metabolize the food properly and turn that into energy. And that's why water is important. So drink that shit, yeah. all right? But yeah, don't. But you don't need to OD. You know that's my whole point. Don't right. have to OD. Drink water. And okay, let's, since we talk about water, let's go there. So, can you drink other things instead of water? Right. So it's like a lot of times water is boring. You don't like it. You see what I have here? It's like it's like a flavored water situation where I put a little bit of something in it. Right. Zero calories just to give it a little bit of taste so that it's not as boring. Um, some people might do this with like lemons. I know sometimes you do that as well. It's a great thing. Yeah, um, you can have seltzer water. Um, even if you on some like, you know, you wanna, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do juices, even though juices are okay, but we starting to like get into a whole calorie zone thing. Right. So for me, as someone that's trying to stay in a caloric deficit when i drink i'd rather it be water or really really low calorie drinks um but if you start drinking things of high calories you know putting real sugar in there um you're going to start adding up those calories like really really fast so be careful I'm not saying that it always have to be only water but you know use sort of like um, different alternatives you know you can use some low calorie sweeteners if you're into that um, like I said lemons uh, what are some other things you mix with your water lemons um, limes um, some people do like the apple cider vinegar thing I used right. to do that forever right you know we I just pretty much stopped it I have some in here yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know yeah a little bit of something like that but a little like red pepper stuff you yeah know? people put different things um, yeah. They're cayenne called, pepper, the cayenne right, pepper. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, they're called yeah. infused waters. Yeah, uh, yeah. Once you start putting things in it, some people do strawberries, yeah. cucumbers, mm -hmm. uh, lemons, limes. The reason people put lemons and limes is because that acidity cuts fat. Um, but yeah. the point is, with, with the water, the reason you don't want to add too many things is you want to stick to the purity of the water. Once you start doing juices and even carbonated drinks of some kinds, yeah. what happens is you're getting less of the water. Although it may have predominantly water in it, you want to get as much water as possible from that beverage. If you're drinking something that has a whole lemon in it, yeah, now you're having a different conversation. Or if you have a cup of strawberries, like a measuring cup of strawberries inside your one liter of water, 
it's not really the same conversation. It's still healthy. It's a natural sweetener, but you're not getting the consistency of the water you may want. But adding something like those low carb or no carb tabs, that's what they're called, right? Yeah, yeah, different um, tabs or you have like the little powders sometimes, mm -hmm. just a little additive, basically a water additive. Right, so that might help to make things a little more entertaining, give you a little bit of flavor, right. but you wanna make sure you're consuming enough water. There's a whole nother conversation about how much water, that's a different conversation. But yeah, a lot of people are saying like, you need to drink a gallon a day, more than a gallon, that's not necessary. Many moons ago, they said drink eight glasses of water. Right. The reason why is a glass used to be eight ounces. Eight times eight was 64. Yeah. And that is 64 ounces, that's two <laughs> liters. Listen, I won't be on here saying the wrong thing. Right. Anyway, right. if you're drinking 64 ounces of water, that's half a gallon, give or take, and you're pretty good with that. You can drink more, but it also depends on your level of activity. Your body may not need that exactly. much water. Yeah, no. Yeah. You, you, your yeah. body may not need that much water. Yeah. If you're somebody that's on your feet, you know, maybe for work, you're on your feet a lot, you're going to need probably more water than that person that's like maybe sitting down at the desk or something. A little bit more lethargic. Right. Um, so, yeah, def definitely. Based on your activity, um, especially like you in that gym, you should be drinking your water as you're working out, sipping right. on your water. Yep. Definitely have your water with you as you, if you're doing your cardio um, because you don't want to start cramping up. That's a lot of times you start getting those cramps because uh, joints and things get dehydrated. Muscles get dehydrated. So, especially doing physical activity, you gotta have your water near you. That's right. So hydrate throughout the day is really important, especially during the hot temperature. You know, hot wave, there's heat waves, not hot wave, what's a hot wave? Hot wave. <laughs> it's like a microwave, but hot. But hot. <laughs> you don't wanna be in the middle of a heat wave and not drinking water. And remember, gyms are normally hotter. You're requiring more things from your body at that time. You want to make sure that you've got things going and got things flowing. Yeah, yeah, that immune system, all that stuff is dependent on water. So drink that and try to get some clean water. You know, let's have that conversation real fast. Like, yo, now, now we go. I don't really trust a lot of city municipal water supplies. I'd rather get deionized, what we call distilled water. That's right. Um. A lot of cats get caught up on this alkaline. You know, the alkaline water. That is a ripoff. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> alkaline water is a ripoff. Um, just imagine for a second, right? You have a battery. Batteries are alkaline. If I take a battery, right, and I put it in a glass or something, and I pour water on it, you'd be like, yo, here, drink this. It's alkaline. Here, you want this? You'd be like, that water is dirty. I don't want that. Well, why are you calling it dirty? It's alkaline. Okay, so... Same thing. You don't necessarily want alkaline water as much as you want clean water. So distilled water, deionized water, water that has been filtered, to me, is your best bet. I'd rather it to be clean than alkaline. You know, nothing wrong with alkaline water. You add some like lemon in it, you know, you make it more so you make it more alkaline, things like that. Um, but I see a lot of people putting way too much emphasis on the, you know, whether water is acidic or alkaline, rather it's, than clean. It's, it's because the conversation with alkaline water is largely based on pH levels. Right. And I, the idea is that alkaline water has a really high pH level and it will help you balance out your pH level. Yeah, and that is a myth because your all your body's fluids have a different pH level. So the water you're drinking it's gonna be different than the acids in your stomach, which should have a really high pH level because you want it to break down food. Right. But that's gonna be different than like your blood pH level, right. which is gonna be different than your sweat pH levels. pH levels is going through all the place. You wanna help your body out? You wanna make sure your body is getting what it needs? Clean water. I don't care if it's room temperature, cold. The cleaner that water is, the better. Tell them what clean water is. What's clean water? Yeah, because according to different cities, 
the standard for clean water is different. The clean yeah. water in New York is different than the clean water in New Jersey. Yeah. Those clean waters are different than the clean so water in New York. my thing is, has it been filtered? And how much has it been filtered? You know, the more the filtration process, the cleaner it's going to get. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you, you, you it goes through the filter once. Well, it's better than going through the filter at, at all. It right. goes through the filter two or three times. That's better. If the water has been distilled, meaning meaning it was boiled, and then it, you know those little like droplets, then it turns back into water. Even better, right? So all these things are different filtration processes. So right. the more filtrate, the more filters that water go through. They have different membranes of different sizes in particular filters way better it's going to be there you go i just wanted to give them a definition of clean water because each city and state have different standards for what no is doubt. quote unquote clean so yeah. a lot of people in, in different cities and states will say like oh, i don't need a filter because the water in this city or state is clean yeah yeah unfortunately it's going through all kinds of pipes and stuff like that that may not necessarily be the best i just feel like hey I mean, if you trust your city water, your, your municipal, whatever municipality you live in, go for it. But <laughs> I I recommend it. It's like get some kind of filtered water. It doesn't have to be bottled water. You know, you can get you can get it filtered in any different kind of way. I mean, like those little tiny plastic bottle ones. I know people in Walmart, they buy like 30 of them. My thing is you can go and get like, I get like the five gallon big giant joints always filtered. Um, I get deionized water, um, which just means it's like been super, super clean. It's really good for fasting, like right. distilled and deionized water. Um, and I'm kind of always kind of in a fast in a sense. I'm, you know, I'm always trying to be in a caloric deficit, which is, you know, I guess you could say the intermittent fasting. Right. So that that's the water that works for me. And another alternative is to get a filter. For the price you pay for three or four of those big ass amounts of water you're yeah. buying in a bottle, you can Costco. buy a Brita filter and a couple of yeah. filters. The filters last like, and this is not a Brita sponsor. I'm just saying that's Whoever. a cheaper option is right. my point. There are filters that go over from like 30 bucks to like $5,000. Yeah. But you can do whatever works for you. If you're spending like, I had a friend who was buying bottled water at like BJ's or Costco's or some right. shit. They bought cases and cases and cases. And we did the math one day. They were spending tons of money on water and still had all these other regular bills to pay. I said, why don't you cut that number in like a super small fraction? Yeah. Get a Brita filter yeah. and buy enough filters for the year. Yeah. It's like six filters for the year. They last right. every two months. She and bought the filter and the, she bought the pitcher. That's what they call it. The pitcher and the filters. Right. And spent like still 10% of what she would have spent for the year. Not to mention doing the planet a little favor by having less plastic out in the world. You Talk know to what I'm saying? So it's a win-win situation. And that's always good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So recently, Dwayne Johnson, a.k.a. The Rock, has been under fire on the internet. Talk more about that. My main man, Dre. Ah. Well, I don't know if it's under fire. I just, he's been getting ready for this role, uh, Black Adam. Right. And, um, you know, he's always putting, you know, progress little videos out. Yep. Hey, I'm doing this today. I'm doing that today. Mm -hmm. Dieting, looking great. Right. Well, he posted a video, you know, showing that he's, he's, he's leading up to, you know, to start filming now it's about it's about that time yep and he's like okay hey guys this is me this is how i look and some people on the internet was just like okay yeah you look all right but no abs you know no abs <laughs> yes. yeah what do you mean no man, abs and that got me upset man because it's like first of all this dude is in like tip top stellar shape i mean stellar shredded God big level. arms chest looking amazing zeus like and for cast to be like oh yeah but you don't have abs he doesn't have a stomach he doesn't have a fat stomach it's flat you know and it actually is like going in a little bit but he doesn't have separated abdominal muscles which what a lot of people don't understand a lot of that is simply genetics 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, everyone is not going to necessarily have an eight pack or a six pack or right. whatever. You know, you might get the top two, right. which I think he has, but everything else is flat and you don't necessarily see abs popping out. Right. But that's a that that's a genetic thing more than anything else. That doesn't mean he's not working hard because obviously he is. Right. Doesn't mean that he's fat because obviously he's not. Right. He's super shredded. And I don't know, so I gotta get a little pissed off with it because it's like people are stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like, people are stupid because it's like, yo, everyone's not going to get abs. No. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's not going to get that. And some people are going to have abs without doing any kind of work. That's right. just genetically how they're built, you know? So genetics plays a lot more into how your body looks than most people maybe really want to understand. And in this time of Instagram, people feel like, oh, okay. I want to look like this and not understand that, but that may not be your genetics. Right. You know, this person who's 22 and got abs, you can't compare him to the rock. Who's like 50, you know what I'm saying? Um, and they're in a whole different bracket bracket, you know what yeah. I mean? So it's like, what, what, ha what, what, what do you need in order to make a difference in your body? Well, you got to be dieting. We all know that. Right. You have to be working out consistently. We right. all know that. Yep. Now, after that, what's your age? It's going to be a big difference from somebody who's 40 to somebody who's 20 right. in terms of how their body's going to look. And then your genetics. You know what I'm saying? No matter how much you work out, you're not going to look like The Rock. You know what I'm saying? Not without smoothie time. Not without... Drugs, but even if you take drugs, uh, you're going to ha you're going to look different. You're not going to look exactly like that cat. No. You know what I'm saying? You're going to look different. You're going to look like whatever way you look like. Right. The whole purpose of this working out stuff is to get in the best shape that you possibly can to find who you are underneath that. You know, underneath that fat, and then when you bring the muscles out, right. how do you look? Whether that's naturally or unnatural. If you you know you feel like you want to. Take some supplements. <laughs> you want to take supplements? You want to take supplements? Take some. Right. What can I tell you? Right. You know what I mean? But no matter what, put it like this. Hugh Jackman, brother that played the Wolverine, right? For years. For years. Him and The Rock, probably about the same age. Right? Similar. I think Hugh Jackman's a little older. Might be a little older. Yeah, yeah. Hugh Jackman looked absolutely amazing when he was playing Wolverine. He worked out, got incredibly big. Yep. Definitely took supplements. Yep. But you compare their bodies, The Rock and Hugh Jackman, they look completely different. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Well, why is that? They're both working out. They probably both go to the same supplement <laughs> guy. <laughs> but, well, what's the difference? They are different genetically. Right. You know what I'm saying? So don't spend your time trying to look like someone else. Oh, man, but he has abs. Why can't I have? Find your genetic signature. Work with that. And just don't get on someone be, by saying, oh, well, your body doesn't look like this or doesn't look like that. Everybody's body is going to look a little bit different. It's just like that's to me. That's like teasing someone about their fingerprint. Oh, your fingerprint goes this way. Right. Like, Silly that's shit. dumb, right? Of course we all have different fingerprints. Right. You would never be like, yeah, but the way your fingerprint goes, it circles and then goes that. That's dumb, right? right? So it's no it's no different than someone's body. It's like, genetically, it's going to be different. So why do you give a shit? You know, if the person, especially when the person is looking absolutely awesome, I mean, The Rock looks better than probably 95% of people out there walking around. So um, I just think it's dumb. Well, I think a lot of it stems from what you said, uh, Instagram. I think a lot yeah. of it stems from social media. Um, you know, in social media, it kind of gives everyone and anyone a platform, which is a gift and a curse. It's great that people have the ability to speak their mind and give their opinions, but you also got to know when to shut the fuck up. <laughs> because right. you got to think about it. It's like, okay, 
this person, whoever they are, a group of people are ostracizing and criticizing The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Like you said, this dude has like no body fat. That's the conversation, right? It's like, okay, if your body fat percentage is 10 or less or 15 or less or 20 or less, you're in the 1% category of people. I mean, yeah, there's, I know when we say 1%, people think about like extremely rich people, but we're talking about body types. We're talking about body fat. Most of America is obese. It's like 50, 60%. Right. So when you talk about a group of people or a specific person who only has 10% body fat, 5% body fat, 15% body, even if you want to say 20, he does not have 20% body fat. But even if you want to say 20, that puts you in what? The top 1% of the country? Shut the fuck up. You're going to talk about him? You're only talking about him because you can do it like this. Yeah. You're only talking about him because you don't really have shit else to say. And my question is, the person or people criticizing, do you have abs? Do abs really matter? I mean, honestly, I thought it was about looking good and feeling good. Clearly, The Rock is admired. Clearly, Dwayne Johnson is sought out. Clearly, Dwayne Johnson is killing shit. He's posting shit. You see him grinding every day. It's not like he went and got his abs sculpted in DR or some which, shit. Which he could definitely afford to do. If abs was that important to that man, that's why he laughed it off um, when you see it in the um, little interview. Because I think they, he was doing um, the, you know, those little Google questions. They hold oh, up the okay. card and yeah. all that. So it was one of those things. He was promoting that movie, um, Jungle Cruise. Yep. And so it was just like, oh, people are asking, you know. Why doesn't The Rock have abs? And he, he just laughed because that's stupid. Silly. Yeah. And it's like, well, you know, look at his body. You know what I'm saying? That's just not his genetics. He has a great body. He looks awesome. But another thing I want to say is like, yo, think about your average skinny ass anorexic model walking down, you know, uh, runways. The, the runways and all that. Mm-hmm. They got a bikini on. Do they all have abs? Honestly, from what I can see, no. a lot of them don't. Most of them don't. They're skinny. They have almost no fat, almost no muscle as well, but it's flat. You see what I'm saying? So abs is more of a genetic thing than anything else. Some people are going to have them. Some people are not. But to me, that shouldn't even be the focus of the conversation. It's like Dwayne Johnson, You see, we've seen him. Like There's footage. Of him in WWE, F, whatever the hell it is now. He was wrestling and he was this slim guy with almost no belly, almost no muscles. And we've seen him over the last 10, 15 years become this godlike figure. Right. right. I mean, what what is the problem? Right. And if you look at the pictures of his dad, when his dad was young and wrestling, you know, you can look him up. His dad didn't have crazy abs. You know what I'm saying? He was right. in great shape, big guy, big muscles. Um, that's where Rock gets, gets a lot of his genetics from. No abs. Right. So, yeah, we need to just wake up. And, it, it, you know, it's like, that's why it's so easy to fool y'all, though. Because he's going to put on a black Adam suit, and they're going to make him look whatever the way they want him to look. Right. They're going to use computer um, graphics to make that suit look the, any way they want it to. Right. The suit might have ab insertions in it. And then cats, ooh, he got in shape. Y'all so easy to fool. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop. You know, because you see this one thing and you think, well, that's what it is. Not realizing it's a movie. It's 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 a role. It's not that serious. And that man is getting paid to work out. Let's have a real conversation. <laughs> right. No, seriously, you know like son. I don't pay me to work out. I I'm about to say, I don't get paid to work out. You know Do you mean? get paid to work out? Not at is all. it paying your bills? No, it's not. It's paying his bills. Think about it. Yeah, okay. Dwayne Johnson may not solely be getting books for roles because of his looks. But you really think it has nothing to do with his looks? Come on, son. Right. It has to do with his looks. And even if it didn't have to do with his looks, people are told all the time, all right, listen, we're going to need you to beef up if you want to take this role. You can't be Superman or the or whoever, Black Adam, or I mean Spider-Man might get away with it, but there's so many different roles now that they just want you to look a certain way. So he's getting paid to look that way. Right. I mean, 
How could you be mad at that? He's getting paid millions of dollars to do what he wants to do. Clearly, he enjoys working out. Clearly, he enjoys being in films. He's getting paid to simultaneously do both. Shut the fuck up. Right. And when, like I said, when he puts that suit on, they're going to make that suit look any way he wants. When, when, when whoever's playing Batman puts on the Batman outfit, the outfit is going to have whatever they want to have in it. You might have abs in there, whatever. You know, they might have, they're going to make, they insinuate the chest if you want to. The uniform going to look the way the uniform going to look. Right. And if they want to, they can always impose, make a person look bigger Absolutely. than they always are. So, Absolutely. You know. That 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 grown ass man is killing the game and nothing but respect him. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Sir. The Wayne Johnson appreciation. That's what we yeah. got over here. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And and just realize, listen, it, it it you know, it shouldn't be the focus. If a man don't have abs, who cares? Or They're, a woman. Yeah, a man or a woman. Or don't or a lady, you know, yeah. there people are y'all see the y'all see the climate. People are going to other countries to get sliced and diced and sculpted. Here's a man who's not doing that. Okay, yeah. He might be juicing up a little bit, taking some supplements. Cool. But that's what you're going to criticize? Then you got to criticize everybody doing that. And you still shouldn't because that shit don't make you a god overnight. It helps. But there's a difference between someone who's getting help and the people who are like go getting. They're getting abs sculpted on. Right. Easy. Look at who you're criticizing. Someone who's working hard, living life, enjoying life, making a fuck ton of money. That's who we criticize? Sometimes you just got to shut the fuck up. Yeah. Remember when Christian Bale was playing Batman? Christian Bale gets in great shape. Come on, son. I don't remember his abs popping like that. I remember him looking nice, but I, don't, I wouldn't be like, yo, his abs were just like... Rippling or whatever. Bale is difficult because Bale is an alien. <laughs> We've seen Christian Bale be anorexic, yeah. crackhead skinny. Yeah. We've seen him be swole and diced the fuck up. And then we've seen him be a fat Dick Cheney. Yeah. So Christian Bale is hard because... Yeah, he could be a he's, crackhead. He was a young dude. Whatever, like he doesn't care what the role said. He's an alien, right? But even when he's like buffed and he's looking great in Batman and other movies, I'm just saying I don't remember his abs being. I know he was in great shape, but I don't remember his abs being like rippling like that. Were they super defined? I don't know. I ain't watched. I ain't watched that in a minute. Him. But the point is, who gives a fuck? No, like, no doubt. yo, no doubt. it doesn't matter. Like the Rock, you say it doesn't matter what your name is. No doubt. On some old school wrestling exactly, shit. Exactly. So what's your name again? Well, my name is. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter, matter what your name is, yo. Does he have abs? It doesn't matter if he has abs. Right. He's getting paid millions of dollars right. to maintain a physique, learn his lines, and play his role. And clearly, he does it well because he's done mad shit over the years. He's only gotten bigger and better roles. Yeah. He's got multiple contracts with fucking Fast and Furious. And if you know anything about the DC shit, he signed multiple contracts. He signed a contract for multiple roles with DC as well. Yeah. This is who you're criticizing? Awesome. A successful black man? Come on, son. Right, right. But let me ask you a question, though. When you Sorry. think about someone, celebrity, whatever, who you'd be like, yo, that person got like rippling, crazy, fly abs. Is there anybody that comes to your mind? Nah, because I'm not really seeking out abs. I admire people who just put in hard work. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially when you see someone like a Michael B. Jordan yeah. or like a Christian Bale yeah, or The Rock, yeah, who's yeah, like, yeah, these yeah. are people who yeah. we've seen who were like slim yeah. and not muscular. Yeah. And we've also seen them really grind and become buff, yeah. solid dudes. That's yeah. what I admire. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, there's people who I could think of if I really sat here. Oh, you know who? I don't. I'm really bad with actors' names. Like okay. that. Member of Spartacus. The oh, show. Oh, yeah, yeah. What was, what was the black brother's name? The brother's name. Who oh, was in charge. oh, oh. So I don't know his real name. Now he was ripped. Yes. Those were. Acts. Yes. Um. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. What's the character's name though? Come on, kid. Um. I don't know. Um. Doctoring. Was it Doctore? Doctore. 
you right, you right, Zach Torre. But what was so crazy, and yeah, he is ripped, like, so example, yeah. They was like, so he wears, for those of you who haven't seen Spartacus, yo, if you haven't seen Spartacus, I think it's on Netflix still. Watch Spartacus, it's probably the best, thing. it's like a soap opera for live niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, this shit is dope. Fuck that. It's exactly what it is. You get for live, for live niggas. So, it's like, he wears, you know, the typical, like, Roman outfit, and in the Roman outfit, it, it has, like, abs carved into the outfit. Yes. But they were saying that the carved shit that he had was, was, less was less defined than his actual real abs. Yeah, and there's mad shirtless scenes. He's yeah. shirtless for most of the show anyway. Yeah. Everyone is. Yeah, he's also in 300 when the dude gets kicked. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you can't really... You can't see him there, but just in case you don't know who we're talking about, you know, if you've seen 300, most people have. The dude who gets kicked into the pit, yeah, that's uh, Dr. Torre. Dr. Torre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Spartacus is a show about the rebellion versus the Roman Empire, how the gladiators overtook it, and the show is like death, sex, war, and fitness. It's a great show. And the gentleman we're talking about, he's got super defined abs. That's who I think about if I think about abs. Like, if he was like, how tall do you want to be one day, Dr. Torre? But overall, the people I admire, yeah, they're yeah, cats who yeah, just yeah, grind. Yeah. Now, I'm glad you said that because you know who I think about, who? which is also old school. You remember a wrestler named Ravishing Rick Rue? Oh, come on, that's classic. <laughs> ravishing Rick Rue was a ravishing mofo. I'm going to put a little something on the screen. Yeah, right? yo. He Rav- would come out and... Ah, he let y'all know. Sorry. What? I want all you sweat hogs. You the, fat. Uh, <laughs> Alabama disgusting sweat hogs. Keep the noise down. Right. And enjoy the show. While I show these ladies... What a real man looks, looks like. like. Hit the music! And I just, see. oh, and every dude had to be like, you know, I'm not gay or no, anything. But, but but he's killing But him. he is ravishing. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, like He would just, like, grab kid, people's, like, ladies and wives yes, yeah. or whatever. And dudes would be like, I understand why you're doing that. Like, right. this is one ravishing nigga. I got a lot to tell you. It's like, a ravishing man. That's one ravishing cat. Shout and, out shout out to Vince and all of them. You that know what I'm saying? Great He's going now. Rest, may, he, may he rest in peace. But back in the days, 80s, 90s, his body was like clack, 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 clack. All natural. I was like, we got like a 12-pack? What's going on with this Natural, thing? natural. <laughs> you know what I mean? The kid is like, He's ravishing everybody. He's 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 got that, it. Had the hair, mustache. <laughs> yeah. I just, just come like, up and just just you know what I'm saying. Oh, which really messed me up because as a kid, those were the type of <laughs> dudes I looked like. That's what a man's supposed to look like. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't grow up with like some of these cats now. Like men are like super skinny and right. whatever. Like I came up with everybody. You see, like a man is like a man. Like this right. dude is like big, just looking cut. Fly and just grabbing people's women, like and just I, like come I, here, come here, let's go. Let me kiss your woman real quick. Right, just in the ring. Okay, like, you can leave now. Great, that's your lady. <laughs> I'm gonna kiss her real quick. And dude's bill. It's been well. Yeah, I mean, I that hair, so I, she is ravishing. So you know I me. Mean? Fuck he, he's, he's, a, he's a ravishing dude. I, I understand. Right, it's the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> and let's roll out, roll out, roll out, roll out. Let's roll out.